we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and we're playing some Shadow Hearts. Now, in the last one, we had some shenanigans going on when we were sleeping, and now we've got some more shenanigans to deal with after we go across this river. I think. Now go over here. But I saw a chest. I want the chest. Why won't you let me have the other chest? Gain, you're being rude. Oh. What do we see? Uh, yep, 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 I remember this, I remember this, I vaguely remember this from high school. Oh, this is gonna go poorly for everybody involved, if I remember correctly. I mean, it has been a couple of years. Like, eight. I feel old. I'm only 25, I'm not that old, am I? No. No, I'm not that old. I'm only five years away from 30. Oh, right, I was supposed to be reading. I was supposed to be reading this shit. <laughs> Oops. Be careful. Guardian of something. Man eaters! A trap awaits. Uh, yep, called it cannibals. I knew. I remembered a cannibal village from the beginning of this game. It was one of the first few things I actually remembered about this game. Okay, maybe I should actually be reading the, for the characters. Pants, pants! It's. Oh, God, my light. Could you, could you My light diffuser paper thing totally didn't fall down. I don't know what you're talking about. By the way, something's gone. <laughs> Urg! Leave me alone. Damn you! Leave me alone! I'm not a dim marionette, you hear me? Um, Yuri, that voice. Let me guess, she hears it too. Yeah? What about it? I hear it too. Da, da, da. Really? Yes. I don't think it means us any harm. I didn't sense anything evil about it. I think it feels like it just wants to tell us something. Da da da. Yeah, not to go into that village because they're cannibal assholes. Duh. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Let's head for the village. This is a terrible idea. Also, I love that we happened to jump off of the train right next to a cannibalistic village of man-eaters. That, Alice, she hears the voice, but it doesn't bother her. Why? Because Alice don't give a fuck. <laughs> Hey, wait up! Don't leave me here! See? Alice don't even care, man. Alice don't even care. Oh, this is a... Uh, why do I have to get into a fight? Can we just not? I don't... I don't want to. Back attack? But we're facing each other! That is not how a back attack works in the video game. In this video game. You... you are wrong? And you may die now. So Yuri hits like a truck. Alice, not so much. <laughs> she hits people with a Bible. That is her attack. She hits people with Bibles. I don't even I don't even know what to say to that. I mean, books? Have you ever been hit in the head by a book really hard? Like somebody threw a book at you? That shit hurts. That shit hurts. Also, this soul energy thing. Uh, if I remember correctly, this is how you power up 
it's either how you power up Yuri's um, fusions or something, or it's showing you like how close you are to pissing off the little malice thingy. I mean, I can't go into my. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we're still blue, so we're fine. We're not red malice yet. You have received holy mother bust. Holy mothers of busts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't even care. I care what the hell is this thing? No. No, no, we want the bandana. There is no equipment, okay? Can he use the Holy Mother boss? None. Soul. All oh, right, this is how I equip the souls. Okay, and I can only equip three at a time. Gotcha. Um, items. There it is. The Holy Mother's boobies. It cures confusion. So the Holy Mother boobies cures confu confusion. Tally, jumping off of things tends to send you sprawling. You should not do that. Tally is my rabbit. My pet rabbit, by the way. She just jumped off of something and fell on her face. <laughs> that skirt, though! It's so freaking short! I don't even. We're here. Looks like we'll be able to get food and a place to rest. Or you'll get eaten. Because cannibals. What's up? Something wrong? The voice. It tried to warn us about danger in this village, something waiting to devour us. That's what it started to say, anyway. I think we should be extra careful. Or just not go in! Like, seriously? Like, seriously, just don't go into the village. Just go do something else. <laughs> How cool and collected you are. You talk as if it's happening to someone else. Again, Alice don't give a fuck! But not to worry, nothing can surprise me at this point. No, seriously, we should not go in there. This is a really bad idea. Oh my god, creeper twin children. Yeah, they're yellow-eyed. They're demons. <laughs> hey, look! Uh-oh. What? Did you just say nothing can surprise you? D damn brats! Don't freak me out like that or I'll kick your scrawny little asses. I knew it! You're right, it's true! Oh, dear. Don't kick the gate, Yuri! It's fucking rude. Huh? Look, you brats live here, right? You're in town? Great, open the gate. Dude, kicking the gate's not gonna get them to help you. <laughs> um, nobody gets in at night, so you're just gonna have to stay out there. Yep, we can't let you in. Run along and get your mommy. Tell her you've got guests. Um. Hey, that's a woman, right? Yeah, she's totally a girl, right? Nice and... Soft. Do they only eat women? Is so uh, I can't remember like 90% of this game. It's been that long. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Uh, well, yes, but... Oh, this is a terrible idea. Sorry to trouble you so late, but we're lost. Would you allow us to stay here for the night? Oh, she looks so tender. Oh my god. A nice juice, oh god! <laughs> da da da! Even creepier than Yuri! Yuri doesn't know how to handle people being creepier than him. Oh my god. Oh my god, they want to eat her. They, they're not, and not in the sexual way. They, they want to literally cannibalize her. <laughs> it's okay, you can come in. <laughs> yeah, you can come inside now. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is a this is a no. Thank you. Our house is at the very end of the square. We'll be waiting. Bye. We a girl. We have a girl. Gotta go tell the granny mayor right away. Oh my god. We should not be here. Dude, no, don't. 
Why, just go around the village to some town further away. Just follow the train tracks. Go back and kill- if you're hungry, go back and kill some of those wolves or the bats and eat them. Just, this is a bad idea. <laughs> Rat Tooth Man! That's pleasant. Hmm? Well, well, it's not very often we get outsiders coming to this town. I figured the outside world totally forgot about poor Zhao Yang village. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so bad. Bird-like? Bird-like. They're demons. They got their demons, right? They're, they're all demons. Aw, uh, men are just sticks and bones. No good to us at all. But women. Women are full of fat and gravy. Oh my god. Subtle much? Fidgety pot belly man. The war burned everything. Nothing but cinders left. For he even had time to turn around, am I right? But that was a long, long time ago. Oh my god. Cow breast. What does cow breast mean? <laughs> oh dear, where did my children go? After I went through all the sweaty trouble of having them. What? No matter how many times I go through labor, there never ends up being any babies left. Are they eating the babies too? This is gross. Oh, this is gross. <laughs> oh, they're gonna try and eat Alice. <laughs> they are so going to try and eat Alice. <laughs> They're gonna try and eat Alice, and I'm going to have to save her. Yep. Yep. Feed friends, star strangers. Words to live by, eh? What's it look me? Never seen dried fish before? See, when you're young, you like stuff fresh, but as it gets older, you like it aged. Don't get it, do ya? Oh my god, okay. Um, hi lady, what creepy ass thing are you gonna say? Warbling woman. So she's singing? Take it out, peel it. Off, rip it off, scrape it out. Don't have to be fancy, just tasty. <laughs> okay! <laughs> Take it out, peel it off. Kind of sexy. Okay, game. Um, what? What's this? Oh, I got a tent. <laughs> off, just off the ground. Just randomly. Random tent is random. Hi, Mr. Man with the hat. Do you have anything to say? Lost peddler. Huh? Me? I'm just a traveling peddler. I happened on this village. This is not a place for you to be, bro. He gonna be dead by morning. But, but there's just something not quite right about it, don't you think? Oh, say, since you're here, how'd you like to buy something? I have plenty of useful items. Okay. So she's got a bandana. Uh... Okay, I don't have enough money for... Either of these, obviously, Jesus. Um, I'll buy one of those, and I guess I'll buy two of these. That's about right. And we just got to equip them, and then we'll go to the creepy house with the creepiness and all the creepers. You can hear the faint voices of a child and an old woman. You can't make out any words. Isn't this where I'm supposed to go? No. Okay, then I guess I'll go this way? The these are all bones! Human bones! Told you shouldn't have fucking gone into this village! Also, how did the random peddler back there not, like, go, you know, 50 feet and see this? The bones of people killed here! What's happening in this village? Again, you should have heeded the words of the voice, bruh. Looks like the voice was right. These people are cannibals. Uh, yeah! <laughs> Look over there at that shrine. It's as if it holds all the anger of the people that died here. Yeah, they're demons. Duh. Ops. Oh, god. Hi! Vacant eyed old man. <laughs> Good travelers, you like the shrine? What is it, Pops? Oh boy. They're gonna eat me. They're gonna eat me! Hee <laughs> hee, <laughs> looking for the black tortoise god that was enshrined here? He's been gone for six months! The black tortoise god? 
Yes, to pacify the earth spirits, humans defy deified him and built this shrine. It's all such nonsense. But now, with the troublesome black tortoise god gone, we're free to do as we please. We can even take the form of humans. I told you they are demons. We can ask for more. The only problem is now we get hungry. It's all thanks to the new protector of our town, Yamaraja. Yamaraja, yeah. Yamaraja? What kind of name for a demon is that? I suppose I'd find him in that shrine there. Ha oh, excellent! But no matter, you won't last long. Tonight there will be a special feast for our rare guests. Now, you just run along and say hello to Granny Mayor. <laughs> See, this is when you turn around and get the hell out of here, but Don't tell me you're going to be eaten. Well, they haven't, like, trapped you or anything. They haven't tied you up. They haven't put you in a jail cell. They haven't even put you in a room. And she just climbed, scaled the wall and get the fuck out, bruh. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm not too fond of the idea. I'm not happy about it either, I can tell you. Then get out of there! <laughs> It's all right, I'll protect you. Oh, terrible idea. We are literally standing in a room of human skulls. <sighs> Hi. Hi, could, could you know with the hearts? Oh, it's the girl from before, thank goodness. You really came, we're so glad. Come on, come on inside. I don't want to, this is a bad idea. Okay, let's just, just do the thing, I guess. Uh, hi. Granny Mayor, Granny Mayor, we got visitors. Visitors, lots of juicy, juicy meat. Oh, God, could we not? Hi, guys. You're the mayor's wife? Great, as you can see, I have a lady with me. We could sure use a bed for the night. Are we just playing dumb at this point? <laughs> yes, yes, I heard all about you from the children. You just make yourselves at home. We rarely get visitors here. We don't have much for you, but please, rest your weary bones. Oh, hey, thanks, man. We'll be out of your way by early morning. <laughs> now, now, no need to rush. You just stay as long as you like. Could we not? Thanks, ma'am. It's kind of you to let us stay, having just shown up in the middle of the night like this. What a nice-mannered young lady. But don't... But you don't have to worry about your manners so much here. For it won't change the, change the taste of their meat. Kind woman, you talk as if you're going to have us for supper. <laughs> well, at least one of you has brains. Eat you both, we will. <laughs> yeah! I've got to go tell you, Marisha, we have an offering for him. <laughs> Let me get through. Let me get through here. Okay, okay. See, they're like, we're going to eat you, but they don't trap me or anything. I mean, like, we can walk out. And even if they close the gate on us, we can scale the wall. I mean, Yuri can literally turn into a winged beast. We can get up and fly. But no, we stay anyway. Come on, you two, here, take a load off. Don't worry, we'll be right outside so you can't get away. Or he could just, you know, punch you in the face and leave. We're in trouble now. Looks like they've got us- We're not really trapped! I mean, we walked in here ourselves. <laughs> Knowing that it was a trap. It appears so. How can he be so calm at a time like this? Cause... He's a dork? I don't know. Aw, oh, come on! If you get too anxious, it'll just make you hungry. Let's take a rest and see what the next move is. <laughs> okay, Yuri. <laughs> Yuri, you're silly. Also, if we die... I mean... They asleep? Looks like it. Hooray! Let's just have a tiny little taste. Quietly now, or Granny Mayor's gonna kill us! Sup, nerds? 
Time to kill you. Yikes! They're not asleep! Y you tricked us! Well then, don't sneak up on us, and if you do, at least do a good job of it. You're finally ready to show yourselves for who you really are, huh? Little goblin brats. Darn! If we let you get away, everyone will get mad and then they'll eat us up! And if we, if we don't let you get away, they'll know we tried to sneak a taste and they'll eat us anyway! If we're gonna get eaten no matter what, I at least want to taste the girl. Let me have the girl! Haha, <laughs> tough luck, kids. If anyone's gonna eat her, it's what? <laughs> Yuri! Yuri! <laughs> She's annoyed at him, because he is a pervert. Oh, you're so bad. We'll kill you. That's rude. Okay, time to murder children. Um. Oh. Well, that's not children. That's, uh, that's not a child. Okay, um. Symbol of Earth Spirit, symbol of darkness. Let's go for Death Emperor. Because it sounds. deadly, I guess. I don't know, let's kill some children. Because, why not? Just just killing children, it's it's fine. And hopefully this kills the second child? I guess, yep, I poked him. I poked him? He died. <laughs> Yay, I leveled. Soul energy. Okay, that gave something to light. I can't remember what the soul energy does. Why can't I remember? Either way, I just murdered children. No! Oh no, Granny Mayor! He's not human! Well, he is. He can just fuse with monsters. It's not the same thing. You'll just get the runs if you ate us anyway. Got it? What? <laughs> Yuri! You're a dweeb. <laughs> Yuri's a dweeb. And now it's time for Alice to get precisely zero fucks and just walk out. Yuri, it sounds like something's happening outside. Yeah, they're getting ready to cook Alice. Oh? So that whole town's decided to show their true selves, have they? Great. Great! So they ate the peddler. <laughs> I'm assuming. It's like a sea of blood. Is this what the village really looks like? Yes, this is what was left after the humans devoured the demon. after the humans devoured- after the demons devoured the humans! Be careful. I think they mean business this time. Yeah, sure, let's go back inside because I want to see if there's anything in here. Maybe? A scroll of a cannibal god. Great. Wonderful. Brilliant. I got a phoenix- I ripped a tail off of a phoenix. There's blood coming out of the bag. Great. Wonderful. Brilliant. Could we like not? I don't I don't like demons and monstery monsterness. Is the peddler still here? Did you guys see that? Okay, I'm going to No, don't load. No, don't load. I don't wanna load. I wanna save. Let me save! Game. I had to go like three feet over to save. Okay. Zhao Yang Village. Is the peddler still- oh my god he is. The peddler is still here. The lost peddler! Yikes! Oh thank goodness! So you two aren't monsters? The strange frogs and then ca came and the suddenly the village looked like this. And there are monsters too! Oh that's right, I can't forget business even at a time like this. Like a true... Video game merchant. Brat. Uh, comes out just wearing them there. Oh, okay then. Um... Monsters! All over the place! Great! Gross? That that looks quite gross, could we not? So just to show it to you guys, look at the malice thing now. It's not a dark blue, it's a sort of light or tealish blue. That means that I've gotten in a couple, a couple random fights like the one I'm about to get to in, in- get to into. Get to into right now. English is hard. But yeah, that means that I've gone into enough fights to start to change the malice meter thing, so hopefully it doesn't change too much, or, you know, we get confusion on our heavy hitter. That would also suck. Mm. 
Also, Alice getting smacked around a lot would suck. Why do these guys get so many attacks before me? Why? Rude. So now that that's over, hi, Miss Mayor person. Eh? How did you get here? What have you done to my beloved children? I killed them. Hey, lady, I put the kitties to sleep. Permanently. You're your dweeb. Why don't you show us your true form, too? We're tired of this endless procession of fiends. We figured if we came here and took care of you, well, you know how it always works. Ha! Fools! Even if I die, the monsters will remain and you'll be imprisoned in this town. Because all of this is the will of the great Yamaraja, protector of our village. Yamaraja, come on, I could take care of him just by destroying the shrine back there. Take a good look. These are the bones of all those I've sacrificed to him. I used the malice of the townspeople and made this fence to keep one... to keep one and all away from here. As long as I'm alive, this fence will protect Yamaraja. And because of that killing me, you can't get near- Thanks for telling us what we need to do next, lady. Cool. So I was right after all. You are the one to get. Yeah! First you'll have to catch me, and poof, and then I'm gone. Great. Great. Where'd the demon cat? How'd you know it's a cat? Yeah, you're going to wander aimlessly through this village forever. Wither and die in this village when morning never comes. Ha 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 ha. Cat lady. <laughs> She's an old cat lady now. Damn it, I'll skin your head. Where did she run away to? I don't think that cat demon can escape this place any more than we can. Yeah, she must be somewhere in the village. Let's find her. Great. Beautiful, wonderful. The peddler's still alive, though. <laughs> Somehow. Is she in here? There's a scroll. Burn it. What? That's probably where she's hiding. Don't look at me like that, you guys. <laughs> Wait, she's in the well. Ah! Found her! Found you! Get back here, bitch! Yip, 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 yip. You mean you didn't get eaten by my underlings yet? You're a tough cookie. Boop. Rude. Bro, this this is rude. Could you like not? <sighs> this is gonna take me a while. Spousal abuse. <laughs> Up, banner again? Sopley? Damn it, you're not gonna get away this time. Or she is. Don't you think I'd be easier if you just give up and let us eat you? <sighs> At this rate, it'll just be the same thing over and over. I'm not getting anywhere. Yeah, well, I know there's something else that we should be doing, but you know. Oh, hey! Wonder Maywan. Maywan? May one, yeah. Hey look guys, it's a new party member! Seriously, he's gonna be a new party member. I, re I remember him. Quack Oracle! Aha! This is the reverse seal of Tian Tian Feng! Alright, the mark of De- Oh my god, too many names. The mark of De Huai. But he was supposed to have lost his powers 15 years ago. Surely it can't be that he's... Da da da! I need a better voice for him. Who's that with you? An elder munchkin? Aww, oh, wrecked. Well, well. I see people here, eh? Oh. Stand aside. Did it? Has no idea what this is. Huh? It won't open! Huh. Unfortunately, you won't be able to leave. See this? Yeah, the big glowing thing on the floor. What's that? You mean the that wind of heaven business you were talking about? In this country's language, it means you can't leave, right? Yep, that's about the size of it. Excuse me, but how did you men get in here? 
through here. We just pushed the gate open. It would appear that anyone is free to enter. We got in, but it looks like we can't go back out. Oh, I hate this. I hate it. I see. Well, we should all stick together and go find the cat lady and punch her in the face. And you are? <laughs> you want to know who I am? I am the true ruler of the Nine Heavens, the absolute sage. Zhu Uh... Yeah. Yeah, Zhu Master Zhu among exorcists and spirit healers, I am quite well known. There are many adepts in the world, but only I will do that kind of work by the hour or day. I was hired by the elders in the neighboring village to come and investigate this place tonight. Yeah, sure, bro. An adept for hire by the day? That's quite unique. Yeah, sure, let's call it that. This guy's weird, all right, but he's invaluable to me for all the great jobs he brings in. <laughs> but wait, handsome. Don't you want to know who I am? What? 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 <laughs> now Yuri gets a taste of his own medicine, and he gets it on. Hey, 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 lay off! That's how you scare customers away. Sorry about that, kid. This fellow here is a top-notch acupuncturist. Even brand new weapons feel like they've been yours for ten years once he's worked on them. The only problem is, you have to learn to put up with a certain predilections he has. He's gay. And, and he likes Yuri. He's right, I can't fight, but you'll love the way I assist. Okay. Do you do any other acts besides an odd couple? Let's hit it, Alice. We can find our own way out. Oh, come on, guys! Now hold on a second, kid. You too, honey. Oh my, I should give him a super plan boy, old man voice. I'm Yuri, and this is Alice. What is it now, Pops? I admire your spirit, kid. No matter how much you talk, how much you walk, you'll never get out of this village the way you're going. What's that supposed to mean? That's because of this mysterious mark here, isn't it, Shushan? Aha! She's a smart one, exactly. This seal's power separates the village from the outside world. The seal itself is just like the lid on a pot, but this one has a lock that needs to be opened. Then how can we open that lock? What do we, do we do to break the seal? That's right, you get the idea. Now listen carefully, both of you. Someone in this village must be the key to the seal. You must find and defeat that person. Uh, yeah, it's obviously the cat leader we're chasing down. Well, as they say, the journey is the destination, so I'm coming along to see how I can help out. Yeah, sure, bro. What a pain. And then he starts laughing at us, because he's rude. <laughs> and we're just gonna leave Maywan here to get killed. Uh, I'm not good at fighting, I'll stay here and dodge monsters till you get back. Actually, wouldn't it be safest for you, bro, if you can't fight, so then you can't defend yourself when the monsters find you, for you to stick with us? Because if you stuck with us, then we could defend you. If you stay here, you're gonna get killed. But you know video game logic. If you want to get the most out of a new weapon, come and see me anytime. I'll show you its true power. Oh, sorry, bro. Don't get eaten. It's bad for you. So yeah, we got a new party member. We got Jujen. And my malice is green now. Great. Uh, blah, blah, blah. You care for some acupuncture treat- What? Acupuncture treatment in the middle of a just freaking demon infested dungeon. Yes. Who did that in your business works? The great weapons, but I wouldn't much to master them. Normally it takes you one use to learn just one weapon, but that really sounds like fun. Uh, yeah, da, da, da. Okay then. Strengthen a weapon's attack power and right in the hit areas of the judgment ring. Reinforcement is possible to three degrees for each of these. In addition, the state can be reset for free, but you do not receive a refund. Okay, I see. So it makes it more powerful. But I'm not gonna worry about it. 
Yeah, because you totally want to make Alice more powerful, right guys? Seeing as she can't hit for shit. <laughs> okay, buy me one. This is, let's go do the thing, please. It's an old lady! What is that smell? It's Kenneth! <laughs> is she bothered? She isn't acting the same as before. Is it because of Pops? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I would get, I would have sort of guess that it probably is. Gross. So, let's see what the old man can do. It looks like he's got a... Staff or something. Eh, yeah, kill the zombie. I'm good at killing zombies. Killing zombies is fun. Sort of. Well, that was not very nice of you, bro. Could you not? I just want to see how the the, the old the old gay man attacks. Or old possible gay man, because we don't know if he's in a relationship with the other guy just yet, but the old other old man, but it wouldn't surprise me. Yin and Yang. So is he our black mage? Ogre flame dance. Yep. Hit all enemies by hurling fireballs. He is definitely our black mage. Good to know. And he hits people with a stick. I like him already. <laughs> it almost sounds like he yelled asshole when he did the last attack. Which would have been funny. Oh, found her again! Go away! So the old man has something. The old man definitely has got a little something something. Probably some sort of a uh, herb in his bags of wherever the hell he would hide anything because he doesn't actually have any bags on him it looks like. Granted, all RPG characters are able to just stuff all manner of items and weapons in just I don't know, between their boobs or in their socks or something. Cause they have no bags on, but we have a whole bunch of items. Oh! I can't move my kit. okay, yeah. We found her! So late! Ha <laughs> So you're here again! You'll never leave. That is the Yamara Shaw's decision. Or I could kill you. Oh, what do you mean, Granny? Is that it's the decision of whoever is controlling Yamara Shaw behind the scenes? Who are you? <laughs> I'm the Adip hired to exercise this village, so are you ready to say uncle? I, I need to give him a better voice than that. <laughs> He's slightly too flamboyant. <laughs> you can't- couldn't even catch me! Why would I be afraid of you? Poof! And can't poof. Oh. I was gonna say he should stop her from poofing. Hey, we missed her again! No, I can still feel her presence. She's still hiding somewhere in this house. And now I just gave him a weird voice. Um, God, I need to find a better voice for this guy. <clears throat> I guess it's time to apply the secret formula for smoking out cat people. Catnip. Do you have any idea what we should do? That I do. I suppose you know how to cats take to catnip. I knew it! <laughs> I knew it, he has catnip. I made it by mixing catnip with a special dye. Well, this here is something called anti-cat powder. Man, these leaves really stink. You just carry these around? So that's what the funny smell was. Now I get it. That's why Granny hid herself. Right, she probably can't stand the thought of running into me and having to smell this odor again. It's actually an herbal remedy for stomach aches, but its smoke has a powerful effect on cat people. Simply carrying it is effective, but burning it and the power multiplies. Let's smoke her out. Oh, but to do that, we'll need a metal vessel and a torch. You need to go find those two things. When you bring them back, I'll bring the incense in this house. A metal vessel and a torch. Right. Cool. Can't we just use the sh- like, there's plenty of vessels in here, it looks like. There's blood in the bags, can we use that? <laughs> hey, peddler guy, you moved! Why did you move? Hi, I need to talk to you. What do you want? Uh, I'm looking for something. Metal vessel and a torch. The metal vessel you can get from any street shop. There are some torches near the gate. Okay. So there was that clerk down here. So there's probably going to be a metal vessel there and then a torch. So we just gotta go grab those things. And then we can smoke out the cat lady with anti-cat powder that's made from catnip. Wouldn't that be pro-cat powder? Oh, you found a torch on a pile of sticks. It seems like it can still be used. Yay, we got a torch. 
So we've got torches and we've got a metal vessel. The metal vessel was by this creepy clerk shop here. And I guess that means that I can save it, go back to the house, smoke up the old lady, and have the boss fight, because I'm pretty sure that's what it's gonna lead to. It is pretty obviously gonna lead to a gosh darn boss fight. I also love how the little girl with the book is more powerful than the old man with the gigantic stick. All right, here we go. We're going into the house, and we're going to smoke out the old lady with a torch and a metal vase thing. Okay, I've gathered all the tools. Well, I guess I'll give it a go. Why is he doing it instead of the guy who knows what he's doing and created this anti-cap powder stuff? Let's see. Put the anti-cap powder into the metal vessel and light it with the torch. Boom! Whoa, now this stinks! And we find the old lady. Yep, there she is! Found her! Heck, heck, wh what is this? Heck! I've got you now, old hag. You ready to be skinned, cat? Ha, how dare you! I'll show you all! You're all in big trouble now! Great. Wonderful. It's a big kitty! <laughs> Instead of the little baby kitties from before, now it's a big kitty! Um, should I turn into a kitty too? Nah, let's turn to Death Emperor. I kinda like the Death Emperor, I mean... He's all scary looking, and he looks like a big, ugly demon. So, he's cool. I tried to tell you with living- I attack the darkness. Damn it! I love how nobody's talked about the fact that Yuri can fuse with monsters and turn into monsters like this. Like, we haven't heard Alice make a single comment about this yet. Not one. She's just taken it all in stride that her love interest slash dude who rescued her slash pervert just turned into a demon, right? Just, just apropos of nothing. I don't know, Brett. I didn't understand a word you just said, my broski. But I am loving that damage. I am definitely okay with that damage. Now, let's see if you do the good damage here, Yuri. Okay, yeah. Both comparable. I'm okay with this. I poked him in the chest and he died. <laughs> oh, what is with Yuri, the Dark Messenger fusion, and just poking monsters in the chest and causing them to die? He's just like, poke! Oh, I'm on freeze 30 on that guy. I should probably go to the graveyard because I think I can power- Is it powered up? I need really need to look up this whole energy thing. You don't really have to tell me in the comments, you guys, because I'll probably be looking it up after this video, what the soul energy does. Because again, it's been a while since I played this game. You'll never understand the pain of giving birth only to have them devoured. My vengeance was in vain. I feel for you. But I suggest you let it go and give yourself some peace. I'll ask my employers to pray for the souls here. I won't accept pity from you! Yamarisha, I leave everything in your hands! So the monsters in this village actually came from the souls of domestic animals, huh? So it was the souls of people who are mis- er, pet animals who are mistreated. Don't treat your animals poorly, you guys. Treat them very, very well. Because, as this just explained, the old lady was a cat who was bred, I'm assuming, and then all of her babies were eaten by humans. Which is really fucking rude. Now, now, Alice, we're not done yet. Next comes the so-called shrine over there. Yes, we have to destroy Yamarasha. <laughs> and now for Yamarasha. And we're going- oh, hi! The charm against evil my wife gave me. I'd hate to think that it would have happened to me with now without this. Yes, what can I do for you? Got anything? Ooh! I can get a shell bracelet. Or a bone bracelet. Ooh, confusion and poison. Mm. I'll have to think about that. But 
But this is where we're going to end the episode. I know I could just go on and finish the section, but I do have to re I do have to start live streaming in 15 minutes, so... <laughs> My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I've been playing some Shadow Hearts. I'll see you all in the next video.